Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 1-45 from Arsley Hepaler Mechanics of Materials 8 edition. According to this problem, the cross is made from three pin connected members having the cross sectional area shown in the figure. We have to determine the average normal stress developed in each member when the cross is subjected to the load shown. And we have to state whether the stress is tensile or compressive. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions. So point A is rocker supported. So I just have a normal reaction at the rocker at A. The point C is spin connected. So I have a horizontal support reaction as well as vertical support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is AX. This is Cx and this is Cy. Now we have to apply our equations of equilibrium to find the values of these support reactions. My first equation is summation of moments at point C equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of Cx and Cy are passing through the point C, so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point C. So these two forces will not produce any moment about point C. This 500 LB force is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by this 500 LB force will be taken as negative. So negative 500 and the moment arm is this 3 feet distance. This AX force is trying to rotate the truss in counterclockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by this AX force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is this 4 foot distance equals to 0. So upon simplifications, AX is 1500 over 4. So AX comes out to be 375 LBs. Now for Cx, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Ax minus Cx is equals to 0. So Cx is equals to Ax and Ax we had calculated earlier as 375 LBs. Now for CY support reaction, we can do summation of forces in Y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have CY minus 500 equals to 0. So CY is equals to 500 LBs. So, so far we have calculated the support reactions. Now we are going to do the method of joints to find the forces in each of these truss members. So starting from the joint A, if I draw the free body diagram of the joint A, then it would look something like this. We have a horizontal support reaction Ax. We have the force due to this member AC, which I am assuming as tensile in nature. We have a force due to this member AB and I am considering it as compressive in nature. Let's label them. So this right here is the support reaction AX. This is the force FAC and this is the force FAB. Now let's call this angle theta. And theta is the angle made by this member AB from the horizontal. And we know that these two angles will be same because they are alternate angles, so they are equal. So first of all, we have to find the value of this angle theta. So for theta, we can do 10 theta is equals to opposite, which is 4. 
and the adjacent which is 3. So theta comes out to be 53.13 degrees. Now we have to resolve this FAB force into its components. So I have a vertical component and the horizontal component. Let's label them. So this right here is FAB sine theta and the horizontal component is FAB cos theta. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Ax minus Fab cos theta equals to 0. Fab is equals to Ax over cos theta and theta is 53.13 degrees. And upon simplifications, we have Ax which is 375 divided by cos of 53.13 degrees. So Fab comes out to be 625 Lps. And since we are getting a positive answer, it means that the direction we had considered earlier for the Fab force to be compressive is correct. And in fact, the member AB is in compression. Now we have to find the force into the member AC. So my second equation would be summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have FAC minus FAB sine theta and the theta is 53.13 degrees equals to 0. So upon simplifications, FAC is equals to FAB which is 625 into sine 53.13 degrees. So FAC comes out to be 500 Lps. And since we are getting a positive answer, so it means that the direction we had assumed earlier for the FAC force is correct and in fact the member AC is in tension. Now we have to find the force in the member BC. So I am going to draw the free body diagram of the joint B. So it would look something like this. We have a force due to this member BC and I am going to consider it as a tensile force. We have a force due to this member AB and which is compressive. So this is the force AB and we do have an external force of 500 LBs. Let's label them. So this right here is the 500 LB force. This is the force FBC, this is the force FAB, and if this angle is theta, so if I draw a horizontal here, then that angle is also theta. Because they are alternate angles, so they are equal. Now we have to dissolve this FAB force into its components. So we have a horizontal component and a vertical component. Let's label them. The vertical component is FAB sine theta and the horizontal component is FAB cos theta. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my equation would be summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FAB cos theta minus FBC equals to 0. So FBC is equals to FAB cos theta. So if we substitute the values we would have FBC 
is equal to 625 into cos theta and the theta is 53.13 degrees and FPC comes out to be 375 LDs. And since we are getting a positive answer, so it means that the direction we had assumed earlier for the FBC force to be tensile is correct. And in fact, the member BC is in tension. So, so far, we have calculated the forces in each member of the truss. Now we have to find the average normal stress in each of the members. So if I just copy this image and zoom in. So the average normal stress in the member AB is equals to FAB over the cross sectional area AB. So we have so we have 625 over 1.5 inch square. So the average normal stress in the member AB comes out to be 416.67 psi. And it is compressive. So this is our first answer. And for the average normal stress in the member AC, we have FAC over the cross sectional area AAC is equals to FAC, which is 500 over AAC, which is 0 0.6 inch square. So the average normal stress in the member AC comes out to be 833.33 psi. And it is tensile. So this is our second answer. And now we have to do the same for the member BC. So we have FBC over the cross sectional area ABC. So we have P75 over 0 0.8 is equals to 468.75 psi. And it is tensile. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the resolution of course vectors, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.